Hey, how are you? This is Kenya. Welcome to 40 Entrepreneur Drive. This is going to be a review on a smokehouse barbecue joint near downtown Fort Worth called Heim Barbe uh, Craft Barbecue Farm to Smokehouse. I'm doing a voiceover to avoid a copyright strike with YouTube because there was music playing in the background in the restaurant. So I parked in the back. There is parking on the street, limited parking, but I parked in the back right by the giant smoker there was a sign on the door there that told me to go to the front but actually it was open um, when I go around the corner I can see that I'm at the uh, cross streets of Magnolia and Henderson there's some other eateries in the area here we go the signage on the front I was inspired to come here based on an Instagram picture I saw where the gentleman had some collard greens on his plate I was looking for collard greens on the menu but I didn't see it because they're only available on Wednesdays yes if you want collard greens you gotta come to this place on Wednesdays so anyhow I'll give you a quick view of the menu so you can see the prices then I'll show you the back wall where the cashiers are, which uh, is another breakdown of some of the combos, deals, and prices. Um, I ended up getting a water, ice water, because it was a bit pricey. It was a bit pricey, I'm not going to lie. But my food did come out pretty quickly. And as you can see, this is what my brisket sandwich looked like. This is a quarter pound brisket sandwich, not the half pound that is the standard serving and price on the menu. You can ask for a quarter pound, that's what it looks like. That's my banana pudding, which was $4. And now I'm gonna show you real quick the side area where there's some extra dining space. And if you look to the left right here, that's where you can come in if you park in the back. All right, now let's show you the the sandwich that I got so I can give you the breakdown of what it was like. She was offering me lean cut versus marbling. I ended up getting a little bit of the fatty meat, but uh, it wasn't fatty tasting at all. Oh, yeah, here are the condiments and toppings that you can get on the side if you like pickles, if you like jalapenos, if you like ketchup, mustard, or hot sauce. I believe these buns are made in house. They were soft, like fresh baked. They were toasted on the grill. They were soft, but hearty enough to hold everything together. And as you can see here, that's a nice slice of brisket there with the sauce. I think it's house sauce, house uh, homemade barbecue sauce. It was flavorful. I liked it. You can see here the jalapeno that I got from the condiments table. This was not a pickled jalapeno. If you like spicy or a smoked tasting jalapeno, then you'll like that. That was a little bit spicy for me. And now for the big taste test. All together with the bun and the meat and the sauce, it was good. It was nice and juicy. I thought it was going to be too fatty, but it was it was perfect perfect combination of fat and meat it wasn't dry at all but I like a lot of sauce that's why I just poured on extra sauce there you can see a closer view of the meat here a little bit of the marbling and fat on the bottom there that I was talking about overall I will say it was a good sandwich and how much did I pay for this almost $13 so take a quick look here at the receipt and you can see the breakdown. I, it looks like they charged me for the bun. I'm not sure what that's about, but that's a breakdown. And now I'm getting ready to dig into the banana pudding. Do you like banana pudding? Um, I'm not a huge fan, but I like, I like banana pudding. And um, the vanilla cookie on the top was okay. The consistency was okay. I prefer it when the... The banana pudding is more like a custard, a thick custard. But as you can see here, there are fresh bananas sliced into it. A little bit gritty. A little, little bit gritty. But not runny. Um, so yeah, the banana pudding was okay. I don't know. Um, okay, now let's see the outside. This is if you're coming, if you're facing the restaurant 
and you look to your left there's gonna be an area set up with picnic tables an open bar with some bar stools uh, the picnic tables are that away uh, I think they are animal friendly because there was a gentleman sitting in this open area with his dog if you're driving down the street this is what you will see from the road and if you enjoy a nice beer these are the draft prices near the open bar on the side I'll give you a quick view as I'm walking through this side door I didn't get a drink I'm not a big drinker so I don't know the prices of the drinks and that's it overall I would say this was a good experience um, I wasn't I wasn't uh, super impressed the meat was flavorful it was a little expensive I'm still hungry I would have gotten a bigger sandwich but I didn't want to spend that much money so if you enjoy a good beer with your barbecue a nice laid-back atmosphere outdoor eating and a pet friendly place with free Wi-Fi stop by Heinz craft barbecue farm to smokehouse give this video a big thumbs up if you want to see more like it and stay tuned for my next restaurant review